Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, right, vlog time. And as always, it's been a, a, a very long time since I've done one. Um, however, this one, I've actually, normally when I do a vlog, I just sit in my ass and just then make stuff up as I go along. Uh, but this one, I've, I've done pretty much, I'm going to do pretty much the same, but I have done a little bit of research just to show you a couple of things. Um, as far as it goes in me reviewing land and, and whatnot it's very quiet it's got very very quiet in fact right now i only have one thing in that for review uh, and i'll actually show you this just now um right where are we uh, sorry dog behind me as always um so i picked this up second hand obviously a lot of you will know this is the uh a, Spin that drip tip round. A Unific. Uh, this is by UMods. And obviously, this was kind of sold as an an all-in-one. Nah. I, 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 personally, I kind of confer... I'd call it a side-by-side. -side. But anyway, uh, it was sold as an all-in-one because it came with this tank as well, uh, which accommodates your bridges that you use in borrow tanks and so on. Um, now... Inside, I am actually using the Dope RBA, uh, which is by Vapeware Mods. So it's it's a whole Greek thing. And um, yes, it's all done in Greece. I'll say no more than that. Now, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm waiting on another one arriving in a different material because obviously this is Delrin, this is the base material. Uh, hopefully get a micata or something to show you off the two at the same time. Um, I, I will say that I can't believe the state of that drip tip. I'm so, so sorry. Don't look at it. I'm embarrassed now. Um, this is... Now, obviously, there has been a tank like this before. Um, you know, you had the, the limelight arch. This is a slightly different design and approach to, to accommodating a bridge inside a tank. Um, obviously this is just the, the 22 one but um, it, it's it's working a treat so far it's working a treat there are a few threaded parts on this that you have to really understand um, because it's quite it can be kind of easy to over tighten one part while slackening off another but there's a process to it once you nail it it's dead dead easy but uh, it's a very very comfortable mod to use and uh, I've been getting on fine with it and uh, I, I, I honestly hand on heart so far I have do I have any complaints with it not really because I mean it's there's sorry try to get back to here there there where am I trying to get back to oh I'm trying to get back to me here so I'm clicking on the wrong buttons um it's been doing really well the only thing I found was the only hiccup I had was I, I hadn't tightened up parts properly so every time I tried to undo the, the top cap to fill it I was undoing the tank completely the other thing that I got wrong was I hadn't tightened down the nut that holds the bridge in place and because of that I believe I was getting a weak connection on the the, the earth uh, which meant when I was firing it even though it was showing a stable connection the tank was getting really really hot um, took it out, tightened the nut up properly, put it back together, and it's been fine ever since. But it, it is. I mean, look. Hang on. I'll tell you what. I'll give you an idea. Here's U mods. Previously, cryptid, cryptic, cryptic. So there's the there's the old one. And now we have this one. Um. This is small. This is smaller and lighter, um, and the fire button's in a completely different position. And I kind of prefer it. I kind of prefer it myself. But have a quick vape. Um, <laughs> the temptation to get into the whole China thing is really, really strong, but I shall resist. All made in Greece unless you're an idiot and, and believe what you hear on YouTube. Anyway, moving on quickly, just move on. Uh, 
I got a pile of e-liquid sent on to me from uh, Toby, his town in Canada. Um, obviously, I, I put this up on um, Facebook pages and, and Instagram and whatnot. So obviously, I'm a huge Nata fan. The, that's the Frambrosia. Uh, you've got the original Nata. I, I vaped this for, it was like an all day vape for almost like a couple of years. Uh, did really this loved it absolutely love it and um yes it's very very good they actually have a new one which is it's called this nicolia nicolia nicola ah um i can't make my mind up on it if it's like a hazelnut it, it it, it's got a little bit of that sweetness from pistache that they did um it's a strange one and i don't do juice reviews i'm not going to do a juice review uh but i'm it's nice i'm finding it nice in an rta but in an rda it's it is sweet it's got a slight a sweet chocolate a sweet chocolate spread almost But for me, it just works better in an RTA. Uh, but obviously, everybody's different. Um, and they also sent on, they do this one as well, which is a gorgeous strawberry milk. Uh, really, really nice. So thank you to uh, Toby and gang at Haystown. If you're interested in the, the new one, the or any of the Natas or the Nicolia, I don't know what it's called. Uh, if you're in the UK, um, I think you can still order from Haystown, but uh, John at Just Add Nick, uh, he sells kits, mixing kits, where you can just make your own one up. Uh, so he's a supplier or a stockist for Haystown, so you can get it there if you're in the UK. That was a plug for some free shit that I got. Just to make that clear, that was a plug. Um, next, what have I been vaping away with? Uh, I still, um, obviously the Palette RDA, or RSA, or Dripper, or whatever you want to call it, uh, from Broken Home. A uh, couple of minor little things that uh, just kind of bugged me a little bit about the, the, the Atte. If you watch the review, you'll know, but um, the vape quality from it is is just superb. The, the, the tube with the two holes is great. Um, I don't think I actually said in the review that obviously you can move the, the top cap round and reduce the amount of air coming into the tube. But to be honest, it doesn't really make that much difference. It doesn't make that much difference. It's what controls the airflow is the, the holes underneath the coil. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, excuse me while I have a coffee. Um, what else have I been vaping away with mostly? I've, I've obviously my my Delro. I love my Delro. I really do. Um, and I am still using inside the Delro. I've got the the Limelight Borrow tank, which is very very good. If you hate messing about with sliding glass and all that shit and whatnot, then uh, I can the Limelight Borrow is very very good. Um, and and. In there is the cloud mods cloud RBA which is it, to, to, be, to be brutally honest there's nothing that listen you, you're not daft you're not stupid you're 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 either in this to stay off cigarettes or you run it because it's a hobby the chances are if you're watching this you're more a hobbyist than anything else so and because I've been doing this for about 10 years now and there's a chance that you've been vaping for quite some time you might not necessarily be so susceptible that's the word i was looking for susceptible to the hype um most bridges are basically doing the same thing and kind of laid out the same way and and pretty much the sameness to be honest I mean, the vape shell laid the way. I mean, the vape shell was... I mean, don't get me wrong. I know there was lots of other rebuildables before then. Insiders and Kangar RBAs and all that. I know 
I had them all. Uh, but the vape shell was the, for me, was the revolutionary one. It was the one that made the big difference for me. And a lot of these ones are, you know, they're building off that. So for whatever reason, the Cloud RBA, which technically shouldn't be any better than a multitude of them, I really enjoy. I really like for a, a res loose restricted direct lung, the flavour from it and everything is just really, really good. Um, so I've been thoroughly enjoying that. I kind of went off in one there. Anyway. Right. Um, what else has been going on? Drones, yes. Still flying my little drone. Um, I know this isn't vape related, but it's 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 what I get up to when I'm not doing this. Uh, uh, still got my little DJI Mini Two, and it's superb. It really is. I lost it. Um, if you don't know anything about drones, <laughs> sorry, this is boring as shit. I know it is. Um, I went to film the the fourth road, fourth rail road bridges and whatnot. You know. They they're basically just over the what over the road from me. Um, beautiful, beautiful pieces of architecture and so on. So I thought I'll take my drone and go and fo go and fo <laughs> go and film them. And I put my drone out. It was literally, I don't know, not even half a mile away from me. And and my phone went dead. The controller went dead. Everything just went dead. And 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 that was it. There was a four hundred and fifty pound drone just out there in the middle of the fourth. Just I couldn't see it because even though it's orange, I could still couldn't see it. Um, and I stood there for fifteen minutes, and I was restarting the phone, restarting the controller, and then I just went, "That's it. I've lost it. It's gone forever." So I got in the car um, and had a vape got out, went round to the boot of the car where all the, the drone gear was and this was about 15 minutes later and I would just I could hear this and I looked up and it was there that has, with the DJI ones and a, well most of them these days do when the battery state gets to a certain level it will return to the takeoff location and, and it had just come home I was like, ah, so happy anyway, that's boring story number one Here's boring story number two. The other hobby that I seem to have fallen down the rabbit hole for just now is bloody remote controlled rock crawling trucks. I just don't know what's happened to my life. I'm 15 again. What happened? I mean, I'm, I'm listening to vinyl again. I'm playing with drones and remote controlled cars. Um, but I'm loving it. I, I bought myself a, a build kit. Um, uh, so I'm I'm building that just now. The that's my uh, body body shell arrived there with a new servo, so I've got to paint that. And uh, yeah, I am embracing my inner child. I really am. Anyway, vaping stuff. You're much more interested in the vaping stuff, right? I'm going to show you some photos. Um, or I'll try and show you some photos here. Right. Let's let's uh, let's let's get rid of that. Um, can I? Yes. Let's show you that. Oh, is that? Hang on. Is that? Yeah, it's recording with the. Sorry, I was just checking my microphone level there. I was awfully worried that I was. Um, I'd I'd recorded all this and screwed it up. Okay, right. Let's start in this. So I've got my uh, all my photos lined up here. I should be able to go left to right, and we'll have a little. What's going on? Right. This is, if you're in the, a lot of this is Facebook based, okay? So you'll see a lot of this in Facebook. Um, this is from, uh, obviously from Justin at uh, Delro. Uh, he has been teasing a few photos showing off uh, some new stuff that he's working on. And hopefully this is not far away. But uh, the big thing here is obviously you can see rather than, you know, what he's been doing previously is, um, you know, lipo mods. This is going to be an eighteen six fifty. So, hopefully, this shall be coming soon. Um, let's close them down. 
So that's something from Delro. Um, this is something that um, I shall mention, which could possibly also be coming from somebody that owns a company that sounds an awfully lot like Railro. Um, dot mod. Now, a lot of you will know that the dot mod, uh, one of the drawbacks of using a dot mod um, is the capacity, uh, especially with an RBA. You know, you're what, looking at two and a half mil, 2.7 at a push. Well, this tank here that's coming soon, that's about all I can say right now, holds four mil of juice. Now that's that's a big deal for dot mod users. That 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 is a big deal. Four mil, um, and it actually makes for me the, the dot mod a lot more appealing again. The reason I don't use my dot mods, the reason I love using my Cthulhu uh, as much as I do, is because it takes a bottle and it's basically this, almost the same size as a, a dot mod which just made more sense, you know, four and a half mil versus 2.7, it's a no brainer. So to have this coming soon um, is, is yeah, that's that's a definite bonus for me, definite. I'm very interested in this and uh, I'll hopefully be getting one and be able to show it off to you if uh, a young man, yeah, lets me, anyway. Uh, what have we got next that I found on the interwebs? This is from um, Born in the Man Cave. Young Tim, Tim Lees. I've shown Tim's work off for a long time now. Um, and Tim, I just wanted to show this. Um, he, he does his squonkers. And um, it just it's just unusual. It was just something I'd never seen before. Uh, Tim did actually send me a, a message. And I should actually... He told me what he's been up to. I can't repeat a lot of it because he'd probably get locked up for sharing that information with me. But um, I am joking. Uh, what did he say now? Yeah, he'd gone down the CNC route, uh, but he's saying that he scrapped the whole CNC mod making idea because it had just become kind of a chore. So he's, he's, he's scratching that. So he's going down trying different finishing products, um, but he's been, it looks like he's not been doing much lately, but he's been practicing. Um, and that's what I like about Tim. He actually says in his email, he would highly recommend that people just grab a bit of wood and just try making something, which is great. And um, he'll mainly be using rosewood in the future as he's got a shit ton of it. His words, not mine. Um, right. What else have we got? So that was Born in the Man Cave and um, his little snake squonker that he's... I can't remember who he did it for. He's done, he's done a couple of them, but really funky. Um, but here we go. This is uh, going to be coming soon. This is from Armour Mods. Um, and this is... Yes, it's a borrow device. It's it looks like it's uh it's going to be a joint project between Armor and uh, Destech. Um, but look at that! How weird is that? And 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 I'm not saying weird in a bad way. Um, uh, I like weird shit. Um, it it's something very very different. So I think that this could be. Now, obviously, it show, I think it shows better there. So the firing button is actually on, is it this side or the other side? The firing button is kind of there in the middle of this rectangle. And obviously, the battery is held in that tube there. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be 18650 or you'll be able to get a 21700 tube for it as well. So he's, he's kind of, yeah, kind of thinking outside the box in that one. A lot of it's going to come down to how you feel about the looks, obviously. But there's one thing I'll never... Darren always does... I mean, he's a grumpy old man, it has to be said. I mean, he's at that point in his life now where he's very old and he's, he's very miserable and cantankerous and so on. But he does make exceedingly nice gear. Um, <laughs> kick my ass for saying that. Uh, but no. So there we go. There's going to be something new coming from Armour 
once again if you're interested in that you've got you know go and check out the armor facebook group i i know that a lot of you some of you don't use facebook i'm really really sorry but um yeah this is i just got to show you this um right this is another one that crept up uh this is out of china the lin by gd mods now here's the thing about this one um side by side i think this is going to be about 280 dollars now this is not and just to be clear this is not a mass-produced mod um it's 280 dollars and it comes out of china and as usual when a lot of people hear that they'll go ha, for a chinese mod i'm not paying that for a china mod blah 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 i've shown you these before uh, one of my favorite mods really is uh, one of my favorites uh the if mod um well it's not called it it's called the duo by if mods and i've got another if mod here as well both of them made in china cost a lot of money um and some people uh will by default will say and because it's made in china it can't be what they would class high end or high quality or you know because it's made in china i don't know that's that's down to you and how you feel about these things um i'm not going to pigeonhole an entire country just because of anyway that that's my take on it you can think whatever you want uh but this one um 18650 dna 60 made in limited numbers once again small modder and you'll find them on facebook called gd mods uh, i know marty uh on side by side mods the facebook group was did a a what do you call it a group buy um and i think he might be doing another one uh, he might be doing another one um the only issue i have with it and I, I did go along and I joined the Facebook group, is that now if mods, um, what they did was in their Facebook group, they actually show the design, construction. Um, they show a lot of the stuff that goes on in the background to put your mind, kind of ease your mind about the whole China thing and it being expensive and is it truly, you know, high quality. Uh, as opposed to mass produced stuff you're being overcharged for stuff out of china uh, they, they put your mind at ease i think this guy with the lin or gd mods he i think he needs to do that in his facebook group as well he needs to provide more background uh construction um assembly you know show the finishing on it a bit more um because right now, you know, it's just, this is a, a side by side out of China, it's going to cost you $280. You need more than that if you're going to pay that much, just to, you need that, to, I think you need that to put your mind at ease, just to settle your mind. Or I could just be talking rubbish, you never know. Uh, so, there we go, there's another one. Done, what's next? Uh, don't save that. Oh, right, this is, um, Obviously, the, the Wicket AIO by Limelight is now landing in people's hands. This was the last photo that uh, I got um, from Limelight. So, Dan, thank you very much for giving me a progress update on my mod. Um, it's greatly appreciated. With any luck, I'll get this before Christmas. I am joking here. I am joking. It's 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 just it's a running joke. Um, hopefully, I'll have one to show you very very soon. Um, he can't actually do. Obviously, he runs limelight, but he has an apaca farm, and it's um, you know it's mating season. He only has one stud. He has fifty females, so he has to actually hand, you know, the male fifty times to get fifty samples. It's um, he's committed. He's he's a good bloke that way. He'll. Just I best move on before I get into real trouble here. Anyway, so Limelight Wicket AIO landing in people's hands now. Uh, 
we now also have and I hope to have better photos for this um, I know uh, Francisco a, a, a sub monkey is has been up to he's making new squonkers he, he did say he was going to send me a couple of pictures and whatnot but I've just missed them in time for recording this vlog I'm pretty sure this is one of them um, I I just f from last year um, I have a sub monkey side by side and a sub monkey squonker it's one of the smallest die code squonkers I've ever come across I love it dearly uh, and the side by side mod is is that one obviously I did a review on it if you check out sub sub monkey on my review channel um, I think he does stellar work really really does uh, beautiful beautiful work for the next vlog I'll, I'll try and get proper photos and show them off because uh, the, that photo that I'm showing you there doesn't just doesn't do any justice whatsoever uh, so I apologize for that uh, but right let's start uh, next one uh, oh that's oh I posted <laughs> sorry yes um, I think I've mentioned this before. I I, I will say that um, obviously Stackwam Scrape and whatnot. There was been some rebranding and different logos, and and I had this for years. I mean, I have had this for years. This is um, a little pocket knife from Stackwam. Obviously, they've uh, updated their branding and all the rest of it. Uh, so they do actually have a new little pocket tool. Uh, and it actually contains pretty much everything that your average vapor should need. Um, hell, it's even got a biro pen in there. Uh, I'm actually using it. I, I'll, I'm not lying. I'm actually using that tool just now to assemble my remote control car. It's that good. I mean, I have all the tools under the sun in here. Uh, but I just took in that. That's why I'm not showing you the actual one. It's in the house. Uh, right. What else have we got that I can show you? Yeah. Has anybody else seen this? Um, I don't know about this one. 314 mods and Latelier. Uh, it looks... I think it's about 300 euro. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, obviously, it's the, the guys to... Phileas Cloud uh, have got them in stock or have been getting them in stock it just looks a little bit Aspire to me um, there's nothing I don't know I don't know it just it just looks a little bit meh that I'm just going off one photo okay I'm just going off one photo maybe that's um, just a bit unfair but it is a borrow mod I think it's single 18650 um, if you're interested um, yeah check out Phileas Cloud or I think they get them a batch in every week just now I was tempted to buy one but it just I normally when I, I buy stuff for review I buy it because it appeals to me in some form and, and that doesn't really appeal to me that much. I could be wrong. I could be absolutely wrong. I mean, look at the Delro. I mean, the Delro is not exactly exciting to look at, but I, it's been my daily banger for over two years. Um, something else. Uh, this is from Tech Division. Uh, Milo has been working on this for a while. He's been getting held up with parts. Uh, but there'll be a new side-by-side -side coming from Tech Division. And he's using... I'll God, I've forgotten the name of the board. Is it Amiga? The Amiga board, it does everything that basically you can do with a DNA. It's supposed to be very, very clever and, and so on and so forth. But hopefully I shall... The, obviously, that's not a finished one I'm showing you, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you one of those before long as well. Um, and the last photo I think I've got is Art and Mod. Art and Mod also have um, a borrow device out. Now I'm going to say that, um, yeah, it's it's Italian. It looks like it's Delrin, and it's got the uh, carbon fiber bits on it. So that I'm going to draw a few comparisons between this and obviously the SVA. But 
the more you look at it, you, you can see that it's actually different. It's quite different to the SVA in a lot of respects, but um, I don't know if I'll get one of these or not. I really do not know. But um, I think they are being sold through the Tefula Tefita. I don't know the name of the shop. It's the shop in Italy that sells all the Italian gear. Being in Italy, it would be selling Italian gear. Anyway, um, starts with a T and there's a U and there's a couple of Fs and, and you can work the rest out yourself because I'm not even going to try and say it. Um, so there you go. That's I just wanted to, to just... I'll try and do that going forward. Um, I've, I've put up a thing on my Facebook page and I'll say it here just now as well. If you're a vape company, if you're a modder, if you're wanting to share updates on stuff you're working on and stuff that's coming soon, then drop me an email, uh, todd at toddsreviews.com. Uh, I have no interest in pods. Um, I, I, mass produced stuff is not usually my bag, uh, but if you think that it's something that my subscribers would be interested in, then by all means drop me a line and I'll show it off. Uh, but yeah, um, hardware. You know, I, I'm ju the juice thing, I don't do the juice thing. Um, and I don't do disposables, just saying. <sighs> there we go. Have, am I finished yet? Have I done? I've only been going for half an hour. It feels like I've been talking for a, an eternity. Probably feels like I've been talking an eternity for you as well. But, um, right. I need to finish my cup of tea here. Coffee. Um... And uh, I'm going to, there's nothing else for me to show you. Review wise, uh, it's going to be quiet. It's going to be quiet for the next, yeah, it'll be quiet possibly for the next week or so. Um, I, re I really don't have anything to review. Uh, I, obviously, aside from the Delro, not the Delro, but um, the Unific, the Dope, um, both made in Greece. Um, I I really don't have anything to to to, to review. Oh, before I forget, this month's charity raffle, which I will probably kick off um, tomorrow, Monday maybe. Uh, I am going to. I I actually uh, I I bought a few raffle tickets for. Um, a raffle that at Mizzou we're doing. Um, obviously at Mizzou, vape snail, vape shell, you know, they do all the stuff, the good stuff. Um, and I, I won, I, I won, I came in first, second or third anyway. So, so I won 250 euros, a voucher for the shop for 250 euros. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that voucher up for grabs. Uh, so it'll be that voucher, a 250 euros of credit uh, and I'm also going to put up the Hussar uh, BXR um, now the BXR is fixed it's now fixed um, I basically um, I don't know if you watched the review can I, can I show you do I want to show you this again um uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly show you this again. Right, the, the, the main problem that I had with my BXR was that, um, and, and hopefully you can see that. Right, the problem was that my battery cap would not go down because this piece here would not sit in the cradle properly. So I just took a file to it and I sanded down, I filed down the, all the solder around here. And once I'd done that, once I assembled everything again, the battery cap goes down and the mod works exactly as it should. So, um, there will be a BXR and 250 euros worth. So, that, there we go. That will be the next raffle prize. Um, Hassar did reach out. Matthias reached out. Um, the, the, the post, a post went up in my Facebook group. And um, 
And yes, uh, they said that they will be knuckling down on um, QC. They'll, they'll be knuckling down it and, and improving on it going forward. It wasn't exactly the response, but that's what I'm going to take for it and that's what I'm going to share with you. Uh, right. I, I, I honestly haven't got anything else to share with you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody that continues to watch the videos. Uh, I, I really do appreciate it. Um, as, as far as the stuff that I've reviewed recently, is, is there anything that uh, I have to give you an update on? The palette I gave you an update on, uh, the Hassar BXR was a horrible bloody video to do, a horrible video to do, but as a reviewer, it's that's what I should be doing. I think I said, here we go, I think I said, I, I do pride myself, listen, you've got a choice, I, I can review stuff as it comes, review it out the box, and I can rant and, and talk shit about people and say, this is crap, blah, um, that's not the route that I take, I normally contact, if it's a limited run or a small producer, I'll contact them and say, listen, this is screwed, um, what are you going to do about it? And um, and then once it gets fixed, I record the review, but I still tell you about it. Um, this one sucked because the communication was really bad and all the rest of it. Uh, but it just reinforced the fact that my priority, my duty of care when reviewing something is not necessarily my friendship with a modder. It's about telling you the truth. And that's the important thing. I, I like to think that I've always followed that uh, line of reviewing. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm still not going to rant and rave about stuff. I'm not going to badmouth people. And that's just not my... It's not who I am in the real world. And I wouldn't be that person on YouTube either. Um, the Cloud RBA I talked about. The Vandivate Pulse AIO. I actually passed that on to a friend. I sent it on to a friend uh, as a... Yeah. Um, and... I see there's a few problems cropping up with the Pulse AIO. <laughs> Not so much the, the black one that I had. I think that's nylon. All the clear ones, I'm pretty sure they're polycarbonate uh, or PMMA or something like that. Um... And there's cracking appearing around the 510. People, some people over tightening, some people saying they've not over tightened it. So there, there are some issues creeping up. Um, yeah. But in saying that, in the Facebook group that I've seen where Tony kind of hangs about, he's in there every time. He's in there every time saying, contact Van de Vape, contact the service department at Van de Vape. Um, so, yeah. My opinion, you should always get in contact with whoever you bought it from first. Especially, I don't know about the rest of the world, but especially in the UK, uh, the, the people you buy it from, you know, they have a duty of care to you first. You're, you're, I'm not a, a, you know, I'm not a consumer advisor or anything like that. Uh, but um, yeah, if I buy something from a shop, I don't contact the company that makes it after two weeks and it breaks. I go back to the shop because it's easier and quicker and uh, they should sort it. Uh, anyway, uh, what else was just to finish off with the, the Hurricane 1.4. I still really like and I will keep and I will continue to use that uh, because I think it's a good RTA. I do. I, I really do believe that it's a good RTA and it's a good return to form for them. Uh, I hope it, I, I really do hope it does well. I know everybody's about the borrow land now, but yeah, see what happens. Right, I'm away. You have a lovely weekend and um, I will catch up with you very, very soon. Bye for now.